give you a bottle. This is an incredible waste of taxpayers' money. That's what this is all about. Yeah, seriously. You don't want to grab your blanket this up, dude? Why don't we put up the caution tape before they get here? And then they can't come here. <laughs> Billy left his guitar and everything there. Huh? He left his guitar and everything in that chair. Alright, here. I'm gonna see this guitar. Hold this. Oh yeah, I'll be back home. How much you want to bitch more? You can't leave the shit. ride their bicycles and walk through. What does that mean? This seems awesome. before Christmas? Is the mayor going to flip his head around? <laughs> How's it going?
How you been? Everything cool? Cool. <laughs> well, he wasn't allowed to ride the bike before, so now he's walking it. <laughs> Didn't you learn the last time that that wasn't taking place? I've been hurting. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's absolutely not true that they were taking off premises. They were taking off premises, guys. They were taking off premises. Straight up. What is the evidence of, of them? We, we have it. <laughs> what is the evidence of them being... No, 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 guys. Come on. The items have been removed. They have no right to take. Please enforce that law. They can't break the Come on, law. guys. You can do it. I know you can. Do your you job. You want to be a part of thievery. There is no evidence that items were not removed. They were removed. Come on. Don't do this, guys. You can refuse unjust orders. Those items have been removed and are not allowed to be taken. They are... Not you learned this the last time. Come on. Fuck. Generators in there. Nobody wanted to go home. They all wanted to sit down at home. You said the house. Then you said there wasn't any room. The items are being removed every day. Do not take the tents, guys. You're stealing. You're this stealing. is unlawful. Come on. This is unlawful. You are breaking your we own. are in compliance of Bill 54. This is an unlawful seizure. The items have been removed from camp that were tagged yesterday. Please enforce the law. They learned the last time when they had evidence that it was not the case. Do not do this again. You can refuse unjust orders. This is an unlawful action. DFM is breaking the law. Arrest them! Who do you call when the city is stealing your stuff? This is an unlawful action! DFM is breaking the law! Do not allow them to do it! Come on guys, let's talk about this. We have proof that the items were removed. Do not let them do this! Officer! Officer, those items are being removed illegally! Officer, these items are being removed illegally! We have proof that the items were removed! Do not let DFM break the law! DFM is breaking the law! Arrest them! City officials are not above the law. Who do you call when the city is stealing your stuff? The items were, in fact, removed. This is an unlawful action. Enforce the law. Who do you protect? Who do you serve? City employees are breaking the law under your watch. Stop them. This is an illegal action! Do not allow DFM to break the law! They are not above the law! They are stealing! The items were, in fact, removed! We have proof of it! Stop them! Please you cannot allow them to take this action under speculation! They are we have concrete proof! 
actually, I mean, I don't want to do one thing that up. Because <laughs> otherwise, we're proof that we're going to show it. I said, yes, we have concrete proof, but do you want to actually show that concrete proof? Okay, so maybe we should ask for an officer to escort us down to the vehicle. Officer! Escorting the vehicle. They said we didn't move it, but it's sitting in the vehicle right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the public. It's in his car on the street. Officer, we can go and show you right now that the items were removed. Do not allow DFM to do this. How do we get you to enforce the law? We can show you right now. Please do not refuse. Officer, you can refuse on just orders. Do your job. DFM is lying to you. Do not allow them to do it. Not above the law. This is an illegal action. You are breaking Do not the law. allow DFM to break the law. You are stealing. You. How do you sleep at night? DFM is nothing but criminals and thieves. Do not allow them to do it under your watch. You are doing this for a paycheck. You are just hired thieves! This is an illegal action! Stop them! You are the only enforcers of the law! I suggest you start doing it! Why are you not? What stops you from enforcing the law? You are hired by the taxpayers to protect and serve. We are all taxpayers. We are all in this together. We are all my chair so I can retrieve my chair. <laughs> this is an illegal action. <laughs> At what point do you draw the line? Nazi, in Nazi concentration camps, they were a little too late. Have you drawn your line? <laughs> Where do you stop? Do you hope you see it? When they actually put us in FEMA camps, I think that's probably when the line is drawn. So yeah. then it's just terrible. This is an illegal action. DFM is breaking the law. And you are letting them do it. I was stolen from this morning, but you guys are worried about stealing all our stuff instead. Instead of finding actual criminals who are stealing valuable items. I don't happen to you this morning. Your moped got stolen this morning? Damn. Instead of actually finding the problem, and finding the, the criminals, you are here stealing our stuff you and sure, letting them do it. Sure, it was stolen and not confiscated by the police. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You might want to check with the police. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Officer! Officer! 
We have proof that the items were removed. We can show you right now. Yeah. Would you? You just told me, hold on. This is an illegal action! You guys have words? You can stop this at any time! It is your decision to refuse unjust orders! You are stealing from people who are trying to make it better! We are all on the same side! May I ask a question of one of the officers on duty? I'm raising my hand. I'm being nice. Are you going to ignore us? I just have one simple question. Officer, do we not deserve to have our questions answered? Hey, get the rubbish! Get the rubbish! Get the rubbish! Officer Santos! Officer Santos! May I ask a real quick question? Well, actually, I think it's pertinent for you to answer it now, please. Especially for your action. Officer, can we ask you one quick question? I think you deserve to have our questions answered. This action is illegal. We can prove that the items were removed. How can you guys sleep at night? Do you even realize what's going on? You are being stolen from. We are all being stolen from. We're trying to point it out, and you're here stealing our stuff. You this is an illegal action. We should all be on the same side. We're all getting screwed here. Yet you are enforcing the people who are screwing you over. You are assisting them in harming you, your economy, your families, your kids, and your future. I want the names of every single person in this park right now because I'm suing every one of them. This is theft. Do your fucking job. This is illegal, and you're allowing it to take place. Do your damn job. We have proof that the items were removed. You are refusing to do your job. What's up, partner? Yeah, um, I'll talk to you, but you can Wait, you're gonna refuse? No. Then I have an officer that's able to do what you want to do. Are we not here for this time? Because it has to be stored on the property that you own so that we're not going to ever store this stuff here. And I want to be able to just have. Just one officer, I'm, I know you guys are busy. I'm not asking you to stop your yeah. your thing. But I want an officer to be able to walk out and witness that we actually do store all the stuff that she's claiming that I took it from my hand. Okay, the green so, car right here, right? Yeah, all so, the stuff in the back. Exactly. So, how, where did you make it a place from? I have no idea. Okay, and no one's a, a, asking that, but it's no not. One, no one's asking you to go to your car. No one's going to tell you to take this stuff out of your car. If you moved it prior. No, but stuff oh, came out of that, so this stuff should be not. That's that. It, it's your dispute or your concern with DFM and, and, and um, Ms. Morgan Collins. That's not the police. So you're here to protect okay. the, the peace? Stand by and keep the peace. The dispute or the disagreement or the confusion between you guys and them, that's totally your guys. But this is yeah. criminal theft. Yeah, they'll.
How do no, how do we get well, how do we get the city to yeah. right. You can justify and rationalize it however you would like, but this is theft at its base core. It is corruption and disgusting. Cinder yeah, block. Carlisle, you're great. Yeah, you're great. You don't hold up to what you promise, and you uh, just blow people's money. You're awesome. Thanks for making this <laughs> three three quarters a million plus. Go <laughs> Carlisle! Go Carlisle! Woo! <laughs> Go thieves! Lie to the public and then spend the money. You have the right to refuse to do this action. You have the right to refuse. But nobody forgets, Tulsi Gabbard is the one that has made this happen. And those of you that think this is a good thing, think of what you can do in the House of Representatives. That's why I voted for Tia Aina. Yeah. I think I can vote Tia Aina. No, no, I don't know about that. Wait a minute. Individually, keep on my age. Cool. <laughs> I'd like to reiterate that this is a non political affiliated <laughs> movement. You guys are feeling expressive. Some of us feel strongly about certain you candidates. Are Some of us don't even like the system. Yeah. 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 Are you going to cut down that plant sale sign or no? I doubt it. Prove to me that this is just about us. Uh, 
going through our House of Representatives, and when we have more power to be able to do this to even more citizens, let's think about this. The Aloha State, with an individual that allows the theft and beating of its citizens for their personal belongings. Because you really have everybody's uh, in mind. Uh, you know, and then you have Carlisle that threatens to uh, use a bulldozer. Well, he's using a bulldozer, but he's using a bulldozer for a broken chair. And excess of funds was needed to throw away a broken chair when we have all the city officials that's all around and police officers. As you see, he's throwing the board away, and he's using the bulldozer for a symbol of his authority for a piece of wood. That, that's great, right guys? See that? It's only a piece of wood. That's how much he's willing to state his name in the place that he made in the mayor's debate. He said he's going to bulldoze through Occupy and he called all the houseless and all the citizens uh, that's on the streets and uh, Occupy. That is illegal and entry! You have no right! Well, this is his version of bulldozing. It's nowhere near what he's talking about, and he just blew past very funny to throw a piece of wood away. <laughs> so, yeah. So, all the excess funds that could be solving a problem to get people off the street, we could thank Carlisle and Tulsi Gabbard for their efforts in not addressing what the public actually wanted, and that was to make cleaner and safer streets and be more, more humane towards its citizens. The items were removed! The items with, were removed! Uh, you saw it yourself! Segregate them from the rest of society. We decided to steal the items from them. This is an illegal action! You're just wasting taxpayer dollars! This isn't gonna do anything! It hasn't worked the 276 other days! You don't think we're gonna just pick up and leave now, do ya? I'm just defended in this spot, really. <laughs> it's not like we'll be back up tonight. Let's help the homeless by putting them in crisis! Steal their stuff and give them nothing! That'll help! You only want a paycheck! You realize getting that paycheck is hurting you, society, your family, and your future more than... <laughs> Joining us will help your future more than this tiny paycheck will! This action is illegal! That is expressive content! You cannot take that! That is expressive content! That is protected by the First Amendment! Expressive content is allowed to stay! Technically, all of it's allowed to stay, actually! I really like the light on top of the bulldozer. It's giving this like, when I catch it this right, it just flashes like a portion of the screen. It's like a technical bulldozer. This action is illegal! You have no authority! You cannot... <coughs> you cannot operate under false information to justify this raid! We have proof that the items were removed! This is an illegal action! You have no right! The items were removed and you know it! Where are you gonna draw your line? When we're in the past?
You are supporting the big corporations who are stealing your money, my money, our money. Let's not forget about President Obama inside the NCAA here in Hawaii. They steal your rights as well. The NBAA. We are potentially risking our lives out here trying to speak the truth. And you guys seem to think this is just a joke, just a little homeless camp. Are you people really that stupid that you think that this is going to be effective? How many days have we been here? How many times have we gone through this? And yet the camp always remains. How many poor people could you pay? How many meals could you create? How many jobs could you create? There are mentally ill people wandering around this island. There are homeless day. people wandering around this island. You don't know, you and the city know. is choosing to spend its money on this bullshit. If you want the camp to remain down permanently, there is an easy solution. Fix the fucking problems! And we'll disappear faster than you than we appeared. That's all you have to do. If that's what this is about, then it's a really simple solution. Fix the problems. Oh wait, they're stealing more homeless people shit. Let's watch. We will leave when the city takes these issues seriously. Until then, all you are doing is wasting taxpayer money. This is an illegal action. You are all criminals. DFM is stealing and HPD is allowing it to take place. You know damn well that the items were removed, and you choose to do nothing. That makes you a criminal. <laughs> this isn't even an occupier's tent. This is a man who is legitimately homeless, who has nothing. When he comes back, make sure you guys let him know where to work. His items were removed, man. DFM is operating under a false assumption. We have proof. Somebody has to step up and enforce the law. Because DFM has no authority. HPD has authority. That's my biggest beef with you guys. Is that you're taking this, this stance that... Don't get past me. Don't walk in front of me. I walked in front of you so you won't walk in front of me. No, you're walking to block a freaking shot. Come on, I'm not stupid. I've been doing this for a long time. You guys have the right to enforce the law. This is illegal. Why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you doing what you're doing? These items weren't stored. We helped him remove them. This isn't just about stealing from a political movement. You are destroying a man's home. He has nowhere else to go. Leadership of authority. When he comes back and there is no house for him, he can leave Yeah, luckily we will be here to help him. But the homeless people have nowhere to go. If we're putting them in crisis to help them, that's not helping. This action is illegal. Did you come to work today to steal from homeless people? I know you guys have parts. You know, you know that these items were removed because the tent that was put up was incredibly small. All of this wouldn't fit in another tent.
Do you not understand what's going on, guys? You have an opportunity to do the right thing. The capitalist society is no longer worried about their citizens. Corporate greed is that's all they worry about. This is a person's home and his own ways for survival. There's nothing else that this person is able to do. The city here has offered no other means for help or any other means to do anything about this. We have 6,000 people that's houseless on the island, only 2,000 beds available for them. That means 4,000 people, no matter what they do, no matter what the city wants to Are you going to confiscate medicine? They come along, beat them, and steal their items. And our police force stands up for this. So they just took medication and put it in a bag. Let's see what they do with it. The says that it's illegal for them to do anything to an individual or property. Uh, of any sort on the side of the road, you know, by the roadside. This is exactly where this person is. This is in the state constitution. They not only break. Are they going the to remove the medication? Yes, they are. They're taking medication, guys. You don't know what that stuff is and why he needs it. You cannot allow that to take place. You cannot allow them to take medication. You cannot do that. You are jeopardizing this man's life! Stop them! They took medication and are bidding it! This guy needs that medication! <coughs> this is medication! Do not allow them to remove the medication, guys! Do not allow them to do it! This is criminal! This is putting a man at risk. She is. She actually was quoted saying that she helps the houseless or the homeless. Is what she puts it at. She doesn't understand that people have a home here in Hawaii. They just don't have a house. But she actually is quoted saying that she helps people by putting them in crisis, which is the very same theory that was used for the Spanish Inquisition. Uh, we've also seen history with that in uh, Chinese uh, history. You know, when someone is getting beaten down ten times a day, you know, ten they, punches in the face a day. You like, cannot allow them to bend medication, guys. Boston, you like, cannot allow them to do it. Good mood. I'm only going to hit you five times, and the, and the gentleman that's being beat says, thank you, thank you for being so nice. You that's cannot the allow them to the take period. medication. So, Stop them! We're gonna steal, they're going to steal their medication, steal the very means of survival, with no actual means of any offer of help or anything towards their, their physical needs. You cannot allow them to do this, guys. They are taking medication. The situation that brought them to this road. This guy just lost his home, his personal belongings, and helped him survive. And though they may not have committed violence as in actually beating this individual, they will love to see because of the type of authority these people place on them and the type of treatment that they can do. They, uh... See? Right see? There. Medication, no guys! No that is medication! You cannot remove it! You cannot steal a man's medication! And told the gentleman, screw it, and put it in their anger. Oh, this is disgusting! This is fucking disgusting! You are bidding somebody's medication! Are you going to allow them to put a man's life in jeopardy by taking medication? Are you guys thinking about what you're Come on! Now, or do you just do what you're Come doing? on! Allow him to take his medication! There's more in there, man! They took other bottles and threw it in there. There's more in there. The envelope one was in there. There's two envelopes that they threw medication bottles in. Sir, sir. 
is that country from? system that they have no idea. They'll fight to protect it. That's yeah, what that's you don't about. know even what you're fighting for, guys. Check out what's going on. Be curious and do some research. We are fighting for you and you're stealing our stuff. We are trying to help this whole society. Fucking classy, guys. And you do it for a small paycheck when the future's crumbling.
be careful of the grass. This is a historic park, guys. But hey, that's cool. Let's just drive a fucking bulldozer around. Shame! Shameful behavior. Shameful behavior. The last time you arrested him, I had blood on his hands. Don't worry, we'll see you again tomorrow, and they'll be tense up. We'll be back. You accomplished nothing today. You wasted some taxpayer dollars. How does that make you feel? How many times do we have to go through this song and dance? What's the count? 37? 38? If you really wanted to. Shameful your behavior! Back, you would occupy it with us and take back all of Hawaii! Shameful behavior! Not a damn thing! You are nothing! You are less than nothing! Because you have no moral background! They are using you to support the big fascist dictator! You are being used! Like you are nothing but useful idiots! Stop being the one percent sheep. You are being played. Start standing up. They're screwing you over too, and you're just not only allowing them, but helping them. <laughs> Shameful behavior. Shameful behavior. So right now I'm running around to get to the other side. Shameful behavior. Shameful behavior. Criminal, Trish. I guess it's cool though, because you got all your little cop buddies to help you out. What's up, Wes? Criminal? Thief? And you guys, when you came to work today, did you decide, you know what? I think I'm going to steal from people. Yeah, thanks a lot. 
You know his ass is going to be thrown out of office when Carlisle doesn't get elected, right? Then what are you going to do? Shameful behavior by DFM. Nothing but a bunch of fucking criminals. Bunch of fucking criminals. You allowed city employees to break the law today. Shameful behavior! Good job, guys! Way to break the law! Woohoo! HCD is nothing but a bunch of fucking criminals! Criminals! City employees break the law. And you know, you know that it was removed. You said it yourself that you saw us do it. And still you let DFM do what they did. You saw it yourselves. You admitted it on camera that you saw us remove the items. And still you let DFM do what they did. You admitted it yourself. Admitted it yourself that you saw us remove the items.